us now. So let's see. So a career in cyber security. So why and what are the opportunities are there in a career and what are the certifications are there and how we can boost our career. And uh, see, this is the stats in uh, uh, cyber security. We have seen uh, this is the statistics of uh, cyber security in 2019. So there was almost every company, uh, you know, uh, almost a thousand uh, most of most of the companies are facing a cyber attacks if you see any of the organization let's say uh, hospitals banks so these all all are facing a cyber security like a security attacks they are every every uh, organizations they are facing a uh, cyber attacks so see especially on health cares health cares almost if you see health cares like hospitals and all the attacks are increases for 400 percent in 2020 so in this year and the loss of the cyber crime is almost six trillion dollars okay so that's what that was expected for uh you know 2021 so here it's like huge huge uh you know uh, so if any of the company has been attacked any of the cyber attack is happened on any of the company so there was a huge huge loss to the company it's not only the amount it's also the problem with the uh, reputation name that they uh, the company will also lose the name so last time uh, we have seen the cognizant cognizant has been attacked on a ransomware attack so i you're aware of that cognizant ransomware attack No, bro. I... So yeah, so I understand you are complete to this. Yeah, so I understand. <laughs> okay. So, so this is the attack. So when when if the company has been attacked, so there was a huge loss to the company, and the huge clients will uh, not come to your organization, and uh, you know. Uh, the cognizant attack, CTS attack, after the CTS has been attacked, there was a huge loss to the company and there was a lot of customers left the company and whatever the agreement between them also they have cancelled and suddenly the revenue of the cognizant went you know, somewhere very low. So, and not only that, the pay name of the no other customers will show, no other clients will come, not come to the company, will not show interest to your company. It's a lots of issues. So it's 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 uh, you know uh, it will be going to. So you have to close the company. So that's you have that level of that stage probably will go if the company has been attacked. Okay. There is a higher chance, there is like a chances are there that probably the company can also close. So that's why the companies will be more and more taking care on their company net security. So they will be taking care for their security. Okay, so that's why the companies are nowadays, the companies are every company is, uh, you know, uh starting starting their uh, security building their security environment so and uh, recruiting the people to secure the company so there will be a security cyber security people will be there and they they will be continuously monitoring they continuously looking your security or your, your company security if something wrong or if what is happening if any of the attacker is coming to your network so they will be continuously monitoring with the help of different different tools are there different different security tools are there we will discuss all those things in the later classes so how do we monitor how do we detect how do you remediate the threat so all these things we will discuss in the later session this is just introduction about how how this uh, cyber security how does the cyber security what are the stats and you know, everything <coughs> so and the loss, the cost, the loss will be, uh, this is a loss. See, uh, six trillions, it's not a small amount, okay? See here, the biggest cost from a cyber attack of product 
productivity. So attack cost is a 20, 23%, productivity, productivity cost is 77%. Okay, that much, the biggest cost from a cyber attack is productivity. Okay, so it's just, just this, this is simple. Uh, we can say in single word, if you're confused with this, cyber security is a most required for any of the company. If the company don't have the cyber security, if, the, if you're not maintaining, uh, for example, if you have the bank, if the bank doesn't have the security, okay, if you're not, so just, just think like this, okay, if your home is there, your house is there, and your house, your house doesn't have the gate, okay, your house doesn't have the windows, uh, just windows are there and you have not opened, it, it, there is no, it was open, the windows are open and your your home have the uh, you know uh, uh, doesn't have the door if you just leave like that and if you went somewhere or if you're doing your work the probably what chances are there somebody will come and see if your friend if you're coming your friends are coming that's okay, okay? if your if your enemies are coming to your home or if any animals are coming to your home like whatever the animal if uh, coming to your home inside of your home how does it will be do you do you think that looks good so what the animals if the animals the bad people will come inside of your home what they will do they will destroy your complete they will destroy the things in your home or they will attack you or whatever the bad things will they will do the same way if the companies are there are a lot of servers are there, a lot of devices, a lot of computers, servers, a lot of things are there. Your, a lot of, your, uh, if it is a bank, so bank, so just imagine if the bank physical, like a physical, uh, physically, means what is the physical security for the bank? What is the physical security for the bank? Security, security guard. The security guard will be there and there will be a proper windows and everything everything will be secured so just so so think in the same way if if it is an attacker cyber secu cyber attackers okay okay so if they if you don't have the any of your security controllers like you have the server okay you have a one uh, server which is containing all the uh, uses customers information and their transaction details credit card details debit card details okay and the transaction histories and uh, what is the amount they are holding if everything is there in the servers so so if you are keeping like that and if you're not protecting that okay imagine what is going to happen just imagine if somebody some of the attacker is coming to your, uh, you know, he just, uh, you know, he break the whatever the usernames and passwords. So those are the very simple things. They, he can break all these and he can enter into your server. And he's stolen all your credit card, debit card. And then he started using your credit, uh, credit card and debit card. So just imagine what is going to happen. Okay. So this happens. Every, if you see, if, if there was a lot of things is happening every, in the world, every everywhere, some some company is going. Some companies attack uh, attackers are uh, doing these activities. Okay, so a lot of banks are, uh, you know, the bank. Uh, a lot of banks has been attacked, and they have stolen a lot of credit card, debit card information, and then they just uh, put it into a couple of uh, websites called as a dark web. A dark web is a website where you can buy all these illegal things. Okay, illegal information like this illegal credit card information. So these things and all they are keeping. Why they are keeping? And every card they are selling for a thousand dollars, two thousand dollars. So like if they stolen a hundred dollars or sorry hundred or two hundred credit cards, an example, and they stolen, they are selling out to the people in the internet, the dark web internet. So for a thousand dollars, two thousand dollars, they used to sell. Why? Because again, if they cannot, they will not do the transactions because they will catch. They will just stolen the, they will just sell out the, they will just sold out the cards. So 
that's that's uh, things he's happening every every everywhere in in the all all over the world in the globe somewhere it is it is happening everywhere it was happening the uh, you know um, hospitals are attacking so the hospitals their uh, patients information they are uh, gathering and the same way some financial insurance so they are gathering all the data so that is the biggest threat this is something like a uh, theft it's, it's, it's just imagine if you are if you are holding a phone okay your phone have a lot of information right so your phone have the contact numbers and your personal contact numbers and your uh, uh, photos will be there your videos will be there and other other things lot of things will be your uh, net banking details passwords everything will be there okay suddenly one, one day your photos and your videos your contact numbers so everything will be uploaded into your one in, in internet and you found somewhere in a internet that you your details will be your each and every your mobile data completely your phone details everything your contacts for example you have 500 contact numbers so all the your 500 contacts will be there in a internet and your whatsapp uh, uh, chats your whatsapp chats your facebook chats so everything is there in the internet so just think what is going to be happen so it's it's, it's a called as a identity theft your identity has been theft by somebody else and kept into internet so now it is a public so what how do you feel that it was something harmful right yes or no it was a harmful or no yeah yeah bro it's totally it's totally yeah. Yeah, correct so the same way just think that so if you are running an organization so you are running a company and your company data suddenly somebody stolen uh, your server one of your server data is completely stolen by someone and kept it to the internet so how does it looks it was that was a worst right so you have to take in care all these things so how do you take in care so you have to protect your devices that is them so who will deal that the cyber security program will deal with that so that's it and uh, this is something skill crisis uh, you know there is a huge huge attacks are happening on every day but uh, the professionals are very few very very few people are there to monitor uh, or to detect or to remediate these threats okay so it was a huge huge but uh, there was a gap there was a skill gap between a uh, Uh, cyber attacks and professionals. The number of professionals are low, but the attacks are going on, going on, increasing. So that's a crisis, cyber skill crisis. These are the different sort of jobs which are available in the security. So, so these are the just cyber. So we will be more like we'll, we are more like we are more concentrating on the security analyst, security specialist. okay and uh, incident response so this is not part of our you know thing so these are the this is separate job and this is a high level high professional like so if you are expert and this is another job and this is the top on the security chief information security he is a top for he is a lead like he is a completely security head for the organization these are the managers security administrator security analyst incident responder security specialist okay these are the we are these are the people belongs to us like uh, level 1 level 2 like a uh, 3 years 2 years 4 years 6 years like that like people who have experience in it. so they comes into these categories so we are also going with this with this training and these are the certifications so basically you have to do these certifications first the very first certification is ceh if you are uh, having a four three to four years of experience so it's very good that it's a good that if you have the certification because nowadays every company is asking the certification ceh certified ethical hacker so so if you are holding the certification then you'll get a probably you'll get a 
more jobs. So without this, yeah, so everybody, so whoever comes to my training, so by the end of this, you know, the training or when they actively going for the job search, so everybody who comes, even Mahesh, and yeah, so you just try to ask him, so, you know, so it was a good that uh, if you have this certification, but right now it's not required for the initial days, okay? Once we complete the training, so then you can probably, we can do the certification as well. So the Mahesh knows the details about the certification. So if you want to go for this, uh, so the Mahesh will help you on it. Okay. And uh, this one also the level one certification. So competitive security. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, bro. He told me about that. Uh... Uh, so. Uh, I didn't get you. Uh, what, what you bring? Yeah, he um, told me about CH, bro. Okay, that's what. So right now it is. It is right now. It was not required. When you start looking actively job search, uh, probably you need this application. Okay, can you see my screen? Yeah, I can see, bro. Okay, so this certification is this too. Uh, so you can you can do uh, this. One okay then these are the highest higher levels so these are the you know costliest certification this is a one and a half lakh and this is a 78000 so, and this is 70 yeah these are all our costly certifications and then highly uh, highly uh, typical difficult exams okay so that's about the uh, you know the career how does what so what sort of why we are why we are choosing the career of uh, cyber security and this is these are the companies in the set of companies uh, deloitte companies in the uh, top edge in the security field so like ibm is also in the top uh, you know ey pwc kpmg accenture okay of hp enterprise so all these companies are in the top in the security field okay so let's understand uh, why we have to learn the cyber security because we, we studied the very first thing uh, what first of all what is a cyber attack okay the first of all what is this what is cyber security first of all what is a cyber security so cyber security is a program this is a program it's a program designed for so here i have a lot of devices so this is my organization so this is my company for example i have a servers i have normal user systems normal user systems right so every user have a user systems so that may be a laptop or a desktop so they have a they are holding a one system right so in a company, there will be a number of, there are a lot of systems are there, a lot of devices are there, okay? So all these systems, even the servers also there, okay? Web application servers are there, web application servers also there, okay? Lot of things, lot of uh, devices are there, servers and web application servers. So, so we have to provide a, security there was a a guy is always a bad guy there is a, a bad guy a guy is always wanted to do some bad to your organization so right uh, nobody is like uh, see if you are a friend so if you have a company like you, you you might have a good friend at the same time somebody who doesn't like you as well so they they should they uh, intention is to Something somebody so for example if you you started a company and you're growing good and one of uh, your friend doesn't like it and uh, you know he wanted to do some bad for you so so that he will do some damage to what on your business the same way here the attackers their intentions are different couple of intentions is like uh, they will uh, you know they will completely destroy your network servers web publication they will completely corrupt whatever the data which is there in your servers and everything by doing a cyber attacks or somebody will be uh, stealing a, they will be stealing your information and then 
and they will be selling out in a outside so they will be selling in an outside so that's how they were they were gathering the they they'll be getting a an amount so so whatever it is so the cyber security is something a program which is to protect all these devices whatever your network you have a network right so your network has to be protected from a cyber attacks okay you have to pro so cyber security is protecting uh, from cyber attacks okay what is a cyber attack what is cyber attack attacking uh, your computer so attacking means it's not a physical attack okay it's it, it means physical attack means something going taking uh, some uh, a rod and all going and destructing the servers i mean damaging physically that's not a attack so cyber attack is something some something some malicious so they will be keeping some malware inside of your system okay they will be keeping some malware of in, in your system and then start that malware what that malware will do malware means some sort of virus file they will be keeping inside of your network that virus file will completely corrupt your system data okay this is not a physical attack okay cyber attack is something there will be a, a end points or end points or servers are targeted so they will be keeping couple of uh, harmful they they do some harmful activity on your computer so harmful activity means they will be keeping a virus in your computer so that your computer doesn't work it means the data will be corrupted see if your system for example you may have seen your computers are affecting it with a, a virus if the virus is infected your system becomes slow it will not it will be completely unstable and your data will be deleting sometimes so you'll be seeing a lot of things so this is for a normal computers just imagine if there was an intentional okay whatever you are doing is something your uh, internet you are downloading so that's why you got it but somebody intentionally uh, prepared a malware for you itself for your organization so then just you know, what it will do so it will completely corrupt your data so that's a cyber attack so now you got the point what is a cyber security so cyber security is a program which is designed for which is designed to protect your which is designed to protect your protect your servers means whatever the endpoints okay so yeah bro the yeah how actually they penetrate into our servers or our system how do they easily penetrate yeah that's what so we will discuss in the later section so how they comes into your network and they can you know uh, for example you have the server right they can comes okay and uh, what is the initial access to them okay so we have them so we have the complete we have the classes and we have the, we have a lot of classes for that okay we will discuss yeah, yeah, how okay. hackers comes into your network Now how does they can gain an access to your server data okay and how the, how they can take the data to their servers okay how they can exfiltrate their data to uh, the attacker servers so yeah that's uh, complete we have the concept and we have a called uh, we have the incident response we have the cyber kitchen process where, where i can explain all those things okay yeah okay bro any question no bro okay so that why the why we are going for that that's what is the cyber attack so so and here so the attack intentions are so one thing so so couple of people the cyber attacks are for doing for the some entertainment purpose some entertainment purpose they will do 
some people for extract some extortion or extortion like uh, getting a money from the so they will get they will stole they will steal your money they will completely uh, sorry they will uh, take all your data and then they will start blackmailing yes i have this data okay if you will pay okay this much amount then only i will release this then only i will not release this data to the outside world otherwise i will keep this data into the internet so it's kind of blackmailing and then they will get a some amount okay somebody will do for the business process so means if i x company is going very well see x and y are the two companies okay like like amazon imagine like amazon and flipkart so if the amazon business is very high in terms of uh, this uh, what is this uh, delivery is all this stuff but flipkart is a certain thing bit little bit little bit low okay what this will do this uh, like so in order to uh, give the uh, so reduce their uh, name reduce their brand so these flipkart people will be reaching to these uh, people who which people the attacker groups there will be attacker groups are there and these attacking groups will start will start attack will do certain certain cyber attacks on na an agent so that they can the company may lose a reputation and automatically who is a competitor for a flipkart so uh, amazon flipkart is a competitor so they will go up but these guys names will go down. so that's a, that's another way uh, another reason why the cyber attacks are in this so few people that's what so interrupting their normal business operation so they will be stopping for example they are trying to deliver or something and this be you no know, they their uh, their servers are completely down and the customer will be reaching to buy something and uh, that that time it is not reachable or they are not able to serve the delivery so then obviously then the people will go to another equal competitor who is an equal competitor flipkart they will go to the customers will go to the so that's how that is a another reason okay so we also we also um, uh, just before we have studied we we know that so why we have to learn the cyber security so individual level for a single as a human like uh, for you how what is the importance of security so for your mobile it was the most important is the security if the security has been breached which means somebody somebody break your say, mobile security and enter into your mobile enter into your mobile so inside your mobile so automatically he will gather your complete info so that your data will be going out of from your from your mobile so what is the cyber security uh, why what are the key factors uh, i don't know uh, what what are the most dependencies of cyber securities okay. so, uh, three points we'll discuss of uh, three uh three things that is a so uh that is a protecting of systems across your computer see uh, the very first point is people let me write here in a better way so so if this is organization so for example this is the organization okay so so every system have a users and, okay and this is a one network as an example if you want to provide a successful cyber security for this company so successful cyber security so in order to provide the successful cyber security for this company so there are a three key factors the very first one is people process and
So I'm sure you're audible, right? Yeah, bro. It's good. Because I see some network issue or something. Okay. So people, process, and technology. Okay. The successful cyber security program depends on depends on uh, people, process, and technology. So uh, these are the three key factors are involved. Okay. So any company. So if you want to pro, if you want to give an effective cyber security, you must provide a So you must uh, so you must provide a you must uh, depends on these things. So the first one is the people. The people is a so key factor for any organization. So for example, this guy has this guy he this person he to, he he took uh, some pen drive. Okay. He connected to this laptop and this pen drive has a virus. Okay, that means he's connected to the organization network and this pen drive uh, contains a virus. And this virus will be, so this is a little dangerous and then it is entering into your system and start corrupting your files and or it creates unnecessary noise like slowness, all the stuff. And then it will not quiet. It will go to the other system because all the systems are connected together, right? This is a company network, all the systems are connected together. So then uh, the infection will go like this and you have a one server here. Okay, some servers are there and the server will also get infected and then start behaving slow. Okay, whenever I am trying to connect to this server uh, for some, some purpose and then it is creating a, it will not be responding properly. Okay, it will be slow or a lot of other or it will not be reachable. So this many effects and these are the these many things will happen if the human doesn't uh, not aware of the data security. So that's why the first the people should understand the data security of the company. Data security. They should know or they should understand the data security. So another case, this guy is there. What this guy is doing? So there was a, some attack has sent a phishing email. So phishing email, you are aware of what is the phishing email? Yeah, yeah, I know, bro. Just loading. <laughs> so yeah, it's it's like a tricking the users. So for example, there was this guy is a guy. He got an uh, he got an e he got an email saying that the email saying that you have won the lottery of 10 lakhs okay so to get the 10 lakhs so i am here please click the link please click the link and follow the details send send the details so, or what happens once uh, he receives that so he will be more uh tamp like a uh, Tempted to tempted to this, and then he will click the link. And after clicking the link, what happens? So he will be going to the malicious website, malware website. So then the virus will be downloading into your system. Once you access that, so obviously uh, it will go to the internet malicious site, and then virus will be downloaded into your system. So that's how your server. That's what that's what the question what you have asked. How does a virus comes into your system? Uh, how does the uh, servers were uh, attacked? So this is how. Okay. So a phishing email comes, and once you click, or uh, once you, there will be a, sometimes uh, the attachment will be there. Okay. So it coming from coming from the bank. So it's saying that hey, you you have uh, this much of a balance is there. So please check this attachment for a to see the your amount balance or or any other things. So you will be tempted. Obviously, you will be tempted. Oh, wait, what is this bank statement? Why it is coming to me? Okay, like that you start thinking and you will be sending an email. You, you will be opening the attachment. So then 
automatically the malware downloads once you open there was a malware script is there or it will be downloaded and creates a and automatically that system is infected and that system infected and it is also going to other systems infected and the infection will go to the servers as well because so that's how infection the system see for example if the corona is affected so i am affected doesn't mean i mean uh, if i am infected means so probably in my house also so whoever is there those people also will get affected right four members are there in the home that is the one network so you guys are there so and uh, so one of one of a person is affected and that person is not a, a know that he was affected infected so obviously it will be go to the other people actually because everyone is in a one place and everybody is there and the infection is happened from one to one one to others and now finally the whole people gets infected with the with this corona whatever the virus or whatever it is so same way here also the same thing if one system is get effect infected if nobody is identified that system is infected with the malware or virus it will keep on it will be keep spreading and then finally reaching to the, all the servers and everywhere okay so that's a that's another reason so what what should we understand here the people must aware of emails which email is good which email is not bad so whenever they receives an email the first you have to see what what i you know what is an email and uh, whether whether this is coming from a genuine person or not so you have to see the email and other things if you don't know this looks malicious if you don't know what to do and if you are still confusion you will have to report to the security too there was an there was a one button for you to click uh, on the outlook itself so outlook microsoft outlook so outlook page itself once you click email uh, you know email page itself there was a button to report so the email will be go to the security team to investigate so what sort of email it is if this that is a malicious or not okay so that's a that's why the people must be aware of the normal versus abnormal emails so that's why the companies will be giving a training to the users so there will be a few days there will be a particular training programs will be there for the users to for a, for this all these things okay so they will be giving awareness to the users at the same time they will also tell the data security so you should not connect the pen drives you should not uh, open unwanted emails and how does them they will give a complete training to the users so that's why the people also for the people are the very important for the effective cyber security program so the next one is a process the process is something so you should have the process so for example i have, my company has been attacked so this company is attacked okay this company has been attacked so what should we do you should have the process say if this company if this company for example you you uh, you know uh, you affected with the corona if somebody is affected with the corona so he should knows the what are the precautions if suppose affected you also you also know how do i take a precautions or how do i you know uh, if, if already affected means what should i do if it is going to be affect what should i do so that process that knowledge you have the same way if there is if the any of the attacker is attacked what should i do how do i respond what are the actions i need to take okay so like in in cyber security we have the instant response so it deals with the how to handle the cyber security how to handle the security attacks okay incident uh, in the, so so you must be aware of that so you must have the process with you the companies must follow the process okay if you don't know any process and the somebody has your server has been attacked you don't know anything you don't know what to do next if it is attack what to do okay so that's why you have to maintain a process so every company must maintain a, if, if you don't have a process and you don't know what to do also 
meanwhile this uh, uh, the attacker will completely infect all your servers and finally your complete network will go down so before that you must have a process what to how to remediate that issue okay that is the process coming to the technology uh, the technology is something so you have to maintain a security controllers so you have to maintain the security controllers which able to detect your which able to detect the attacks for example firewall is a one device so which is a, like acting as a security guard for your company okay so physically physical security is something so if you see the company who is there will be always a security guard is there and he will be monitoring all your people who is coming who is going so all this will be monitoring by the security guards right the same way here also you must need a security devices to monitor your to monitor the your company network if something bad is happening towards something bad traffic is coming to you your network the firewall will block the traffic in the same time lot of security controllers are there we will discuss uh, each one we will discuss so that's the technology the technology is also very important so if you don't have any security devices like a uh, so firewalls intrusion prevention systems ips endpoint av antivirus antivirus also a security device so like a semantic and mcafe security products are there so these are also a yeah, security controllers you must have a security which detect your attacks if you don't have anything it's like a you no know, it's open door your your whole house is with a open door your house is like no windows no or no doors nothing is there how does your home how does uh, and you're somewhere working inside and how does it looks so there is a chances that anyone anything can, can comes into your otherwise if you have a proper uh, doors if you have a proper doors proper windows and everything is locked so that nobody can come okay so that's a these are the three key factors is a they are interrelated with each other so if if the if you have the proper if you have the proper technology okay if you have the so if you have the proper technology with you but if you have the proper technology with you but you don't have a, you, your user server your you, your users doesn't know how to handle the data and they don't know anything about the phishing emails normal emails everything they will be that is also a risk right if you are not aware of the users computer the organization people itself doesn't know how to handle the data and if they are taking up the pen drives and connecting to your uh, their laptops or mobiles or any other computers in the, in the company networks that will be waste there is no there is no there is no it's useless right so you have all the security controllers the technologies everything if the user doesn't know this waste same way if you have a technology and the people should aware everything and if you it is, there is no process in your in hands that is also a issue if you have the pop people process everything is good but if you don't have a security controllers like okay like uh, uh, no security guard to the company still there is a risk okay so that's a key factors for the successful these are the successful uh key factors for the cyber effective cyber security program so in order to give this give the effective cyber security program so you must so these three are the important things so next one is threats or oh, threat threat is threat what is a threat meaning harmful activity right threat is t h r e a t threat so for example the, your home is there 
and uh, uh, you know uh, so if, if there is uh, uh, if there is no uh, what is it if there is no wall to your home like your home is a completely open and there is no uh, we can call it as a wall so it surrounds your home so what happens so the probable chances that there will be animals also comes okay animals like uh, monkeys or dogs or whatever the comes that is a some kind of harmful to your where there was any kids are there so that will be harmful for them so the same way threat is an harmful activity a harmful activity threat is a harmful activity so what are the harmful activities for your computer network your computer network so majorly malware malware and right uh, uh, the threat harmful activities to your network so what are the malware like a uh, virus worm trojan so all these things like ransomware and phishing emails like phishing emails all these things got it so these are the major threats for the cyber security so uh, these are the major threats for the any of the company so major threats for the cyber security so what we have to do we have to protect from these cyber or uh, these threats okay we, we have uh, we have the classes for this so what is the malware what is the virus what are the bomb trojans so we will discuss all these things in the upcoming classes okay so we are just giving an introduction and so what sort of attacks are possible for so your company is company network is there will be a ddos that denial of distributed service so we have a class for this as well and we have a man in the middle attack so yeah if you i if i say it will be difficult for you to understand man in the middle attack phishing attacks phishing attacks web based attacks lots of lots of attacks will be happening lots of web based attacks so we can see here this many attacks we will be seeing okay so these are the different types of attacks let's see the types of hackers we have so we have different sort of hackers we have their functionalities is so the white hat hackers black hat hackers there is a gray hackers depends on how does they are classified is based on their goal so how, what is their goal and what is their based on their characteristics and their goal so there will be a script keys there will be a hacktivist okay so these are the types of hackers so the white hat hackers something so they are the ethical hackers they are the ethical means if my company is there okay so the company want to test their security okay this is the company the company people are asking to check my security how does the company can able to can able to face the security cyber attacks okay how for example okay the company itself will tell to the uh, uh, the uh, couple of uh, uh, security people to attack my company by sending a phishing emails uh, you know they they will they, it, it is it is an authorized activity approved activity so they will be uh, you know there will be a couple of ethical hackers so the company itself may attending a couple of so for example my company also have the pen testers so the pen testers are the ethical hackers so what they will do they will start hacking your means they will be entering to your network and they will try to hack your devices so 
how capable of my devices to hack. So they will be checking with the help of these white hat hackers. So it's an approved and authorized act. And how does if I send a phishing email to, to these users, whether these users are clicking the email, okay, or they are ignoring, or they are reporting to security team, what they are doing, how capable of my people in the organization people. It's a testing. How does they are working? And how does again here the people process technology has involved? So the people, how does the people reacting to this attack? And how does the process or how does the technology, what sort of technology, so security devices are there? This, for example, if this system is infected with the virus, my antivirus is detecting or not, whether it is capable or not. Okay, like that, they, these, these, these people will be, these, these people will be called as a white attackers. They are a Pentesters. They are the company itself will be allowing them to do the activity. Like you know, right? The drills. So usually the drills is happening, right? In the military also, they just perform some mil uh, drill attacks. Like if there was a military, they itself divided into two parts, two groups. So one team will be acting as a defend, a uh, defending, defend. Another team has acting as attacking. So if the attacker, if there was an attacking, how capable we are to defend, okay? So if they are coming from the east, or if they are coming from the that side, how do we face? If they are coming from another side, how do we face? So okay, how do we protect our people? How do we protect our weapons? So everything will be there. So that's a drill. This is also the same. The white hackers also, they will be performing the hacking activity, that's an approved activity. So black hat. Okay, so the black hat uh, hackers are something, these are the actual bad guys. They will be, so what our responsibility is to protect our company from the black hat hackers. Their intention is to, their intention is to disturb your network. It may be for a fun purpose or it may be a, for a money purpose or it might be a some other reasons. So they will they will come to your they will come to your network and they will steal your data. That's a white black hat and the gray hat there will be gray hackers. So the gray hackers are something uh, their intention is the gray gray hackers intention is it's 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 like they are uh, a gray hack ha hackers are they are something like they are we can call it as a researchers so for example my website is there for example there is a facebook website is there they are always looking at the issues in the facebook websites is this site how can we attack if there is what are the chances of the attacks? How do I exploit the code? There is a, any issues in the, while writing the, this website, or there will be a lot of subdomains in the Facebook, okay, or in the, in the Microsoft page. So uh, is there any issues in the Microsoft? So for example, my system, my, my, our computers have any chances that somebody can hack. So uh, it means what chances it is, how does, how does an attacker can take, uh, you know, how does an attacker attack your sir, your device by doing that, by taking the advantage of that bug in the system. Okay, so like that. So there will be always, they always looking the bugs in your websites. Okay, and they will be always trying to search the webs, uh, bugs in the internet, I mean the bugs in the websites. Whatever the company, whatever the company, IBM, next, whatever the company, they always go with that as a website and <coughs> try to find out the bugs. Okay, if this bug is there, how an attacker can exploit or how an attacker can take the advantage of this bug and how does he can able to take over your server. So they will be explaining in a, they will do that and they will 
uh, once they do once they are able to do that and they will give, tell to the company so the company will be providing a some money to the these people okay they are not for a bad intention they are not a bad they are not doing for the bad intention so they just wanted to report to the company so the company will be giving a some prize money to them so couple of companies companies encouraging like this couple of companies are encouraging to the people like this to uh, do okay so that's how uh, the gray hackers so we can call it as a bug bounty hunters we can also bounty hunters so bug means a security issue in the website bounty means so it's like a prize money hunters so they will be hunting for the bugs in the websites and they will be getting a bounty for that bounty is a prize money any questions and yes yeah, script kiddies we'll discuss a later part and the last one is a activist so the activists are something it's they are a socially motivated people okay so socially motivated in the sense uh, for example uh, i am going to the hospital okay the hospital uh, people are speaking rudely or they are collecting a more amount from the patients okay so this guy feels very bad for that on the hospital and uh, so he wanted to take a revenge on this like what we are seeing in the movies so they will be motivated like this so they they wanted to take a revenge so what these people will do they will target this hospital and they will they will start doing a cyber attacks on these companies or this bank sorry these uh, hospitals whatever it is even the banks also if the banker uh, so they are charging more interest to him suddenly he 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 feels like a bad for that and then he want to take a revenge on the bank so he will do the cyber attack if he, he is well skilled okay so those are the different types of hackers okay script kiddies we will discuss this so these are the script kiddies is a different concept we will discuss that so these are the majorly important hackers so any questions? Yeah, any questions? No, bro. Uh, no, no, uh, no questions. But I wanna just ask something. Uh, can we hack or only we are defenders? Well, we are a defenders. We are not uh, hackers. So we yeah. were. Uh, see, the uh, hackers is something have uh, some scripting now you you should understand the scripting you must have scripting as well so that's that's a thing. and uh, as a player, so you must understand how the attacker comes into your network how do you defend so how to remediate the issue so that's your responsibility so attackers and defenders your responsibility is to defend the attack cyber attacks to your on your whatever the attacks coming to your network so you have to defend that's your primary goal that would be your job uh, responsibility as well okay yeah okay bro So this is about uh, you know the introduction about the security, cyber security. So we we just covered how what is the cyber security and the career of cyber security. So you know what exactly why we need a cyber security uh, in terms of a uh, you know individual wise and in terms of uh, the company wise why we need the security cyber security program and what are the key factors for the successful cyber security program different types of uh, uh, you know the cyber attack, some different types of threats for any of the organization, 
and the different types of hacker groups, hacker types we have seen. So all these things is just an introduction and just an overview about security. But we we majorly focus on all the cyber security concepts after the networking. Okay, so the very beginning we're gonna start the, the networking, the computer network. So you must why we are going to initially the computer network because so so first if somebody wants if somebody wants to attack or somebody wants to protect your the, protect the network the first of all you know how does the computer network will be you must understand in the computer network so what are the different different components are there so if it is a computer we are calling it as a network a computer network so means it is a network means a lot of other components also will be there so first if you understand the network architecture okay if you understand the complete network architecture then only you will be able to protect right so just like so see for example uh, you know uh, the company have this many devices or this many servers this many days so and how does it works and what is the firewall what is the ips and what are the other security these are all our security devices and how does it works and antivirus what is antivirus and uh, what is the next generation antivirus and how does it works so if you know all these things then only you'll be able to uh, then only you'll be able to uh, you know uh, protect or you will be able to provide the security if you don't know how does the firewall works so you cannot uh, you know you cannot understand if there was some attack is also happening you do not understand how does the firewall works and how the what logs will be generated then it will be difficult so that's why you must understand the architecture network architecture so then only you'll be able to provide a security to your network okay so so first what you, what you have to do is so first you have to understand the a typical or network architecture for any of the organization so for example here is a one net uh, this is a company this is a company a so what are the typical components are there for any of the organization so so what are the first what are the so for example the company is there what all what all the components what are the devices are there so computers are there here the servers are there okay printer scanner web application servers okay database servers okay a lot of other microsoft ad ad servers domains domain dns servers active directory a lot of lot of all are there so you wanted to protect all this so you need to protect all this okay so you need a different sort of security devices so the first one is a proxy so and all the devices have the antivirus antivirus av antivirus and then here another security controller called as a proxy so all are connected to proxy so if somebody accessing internet they will go via proxy so we'll discuss what is the proxy and what it will do and then uh, ips will be there or ids this is another security device and this is the firewall and there will be a router okay in between we have the switches so here all are connected to the switches so likewise the different different set of devices and then it will be the internet so if these guy wanted to access the uh, internet he must go all this all the security controllers and only everywhere will be verified this uh, data if i am there i am accessing facebook okay if this proxy allowed then only you'll be able to access that so that's why the companies if you see the companies don't allow facebook uh, don't allow youtube means how does they are doing this activity with the help of proxies okay so we we have to understand each and every device okay At the same time before understanding the these these uh, devices behavior devices action how does it works first of all you have to understand what is the computer 
network how does the computer network works okay and what uh, what you have to understand how the how the if i try to access this web page uh, google so how does the communication is happen between these computers the computer communication how does it happens the whole communication between your your device and for example even from my system i am trying to connect you via google uh, go to meeting how does it is happen and the same time if i am accessing the facebook uh, how does this communication is happen when i click google button how does i am getting the web page so if you understand all this so then then it it's good that if you uh, if you good with this understanding then probably you will be good into analyzing this traffic so if you don't know how does the traffic was uh, data traffic was going okay and you cannot protect all right okay so that's why that's why see, if, if for example in a traffic in, in a city okay there was a you wanted to provide a security uh, to, to the roads and everything uh, you want to uh, there will a uh in the roads and all you wanted to provide a proper security other things you must know uh, the complete uh you know the complete roads and how does the roads where to where these roads go and all this information you must awareness you must have the complete city awareness like a city what type of roads are there on from which way from where to where the roads uh, types of roads are there where the cc cameras is not there so first you know where where to where these roads are going so then after that you only after that only you have to think about the security so how does you provide the security by just keeping a, a cc cameras to monitor the activity so first you have to know how the the way from from what area to what area so uh, what is the path so you have to know the path so all this then only you can able to provide the security okay so like uh, there was some uh, illegal activities happening in this particular area so then you have to know the route map of that so where on which area it was happening okay uh, from where uh, so if if i keep the in which place if i keep the cc cameras to more, uh, then i can able to catch the bad guys so that the things will comes into your second so first you have to know where is the place and how does the what are the other paths is there all this is be looking the so same way first you have to understand the communication process how does the communication process is happen between between from you to destination when you are connecting to a, a, one another server so what is happening in between because if you understand that then only you will be able to provide the security so that's why we are going to start with the networking and how does the network communication works what what are the different type of protocols are there and everything we will be everything we will discuss okay so it's a it's, it's another uh, probably takes uh, one or two sessions okay so what you have to do is uh, so i'll share the recording this recording session and i'll also share the uh, previous uh, we have done uh, two three classes okay so i will share those recordings as well just go to those recordings and i'll connect you tomorrow once again okay so i will revise all the i'll i'll tell you uh, what we have covered till now so we have already running a batch uh, it was uh, last the week we have started almost we have done three to four classes but yeah so whatever i told till now so i have covered in two classes for them so the next two classes i'll co cover for you in another one class so i'll share recordings as well uh, what is happened uh, whatever the classes is happened so just go just refer those uh, classes as well okay so i will also cover in the uh, uh, tomorrow i will cover uh, most probably i will cover uh, two more two hour sessions i'll take a two uh, two hour session so where i will cover all those other things okay from monday onwards you will join with the batch okay. so uh, that time so whatever things we have covered we will cover all these things and then we should also go and uh, see the recording as well so that it will be twice it will be if something one or two points it may, i may missed here uh, but they can cover in that recordings okay
Yeah, okay, bro. Tomorrow time, bro. Yeah, so timing so will come to you by 10 o'clock. That's fine. Okay. Yeah, okay, bro. So, yeah, 10 o'clock, uh, probably, uh, we will connect you out. Uh, so, it will go around, it will go to go around, see, sorry, uh, 12 o'clock, approximately 12 o'clock. Yeah, no problem, okay. Fine, uh, that's fine. Uh, we'll, we'll meet you tomorrow. Okay. Yeah, so, okay, bro. Share me uh, your uh, CV. Your, uh, CV. And, yeah, uh, okay, bro. I will what? I will take. So I will text you in WhatsApp, bro. Yeah. So when you're coming into Bangalore, just tell me, bro. Whenever I, I, you want me there, I will be there, bro. Uh, so I'm expecting the next week. Uh, probably. Yeah, no by problem. By twenty three, twenty four, you'll be here. Yeah, or 20, I'll be there. 26, you'll be there. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, for how many days, bro? For, uh, for... Yeah, that's what, man, job. Uh, yeah. So this is for the, I'm calling for, for you for the interviews. So, yeah, okay. uh, so the training is a one of month. So it will take one, yeah. uh, one and maybe a one month, 10 days or something like that. So after that, so we, meanwhile we also start searching from 24, 23 onwards. So I will I will give you the C and uh, and everything. I'll put it out to you, and I also help you to how to take interview calls and everything. So you start doing from Monday, and uh, your profile will up in another five days. So it will be active. Your profile will be active from last next week onwards, like uh, 25th onwards. It will be more active. If I put in uh, this Monday, it will be active for the next week. Okay. Oh, okay. okay. So, we'll do that. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, bro. Okay, fine. Any, if you have any questions, you can go text me. So, okay, no questions, bro. Okay. Uh, Okay, bro.